control. This is. Thank you, Metallica. Please welcome Limp Biscuit. <laughs>
new Metallica takes the stage for the very first time. Puddle of Muds, Wes Scantlin. Metallica! From the beginning of rock and roll has been an unstoppable form of revolution. But instead of tearing us apart, rock at its best unites us. Rock makes us one, but it's taken more than 20 years for rock and roll to unite Metallica. Take a look. We're so in love with this album, it's sickening. <laughs> Saint Anger is more of a statement than anything else we've done in the past. More of a band statement. Our newfound love for life, Metallica, and each other is just unfathomable. I never thought we could have gotten to this place. May 2002. James Hetfield finally returns from nine months of rehab and self-reflection, but does not plug in his guitar right away. We sat in that room in there and talked for three months, and we never even walked into the studio. I want to get down to what we are, why we're playing music, and make some music. I started talking about all this stuff to these guys, and some of it they got, some of it was a little, ooh, new age, man. <laughs> I can't do anything else. There's nothing else. We're pretty good, dude. We found that the James is really just still James. Yeah. A much clearer, sober version of James. All right. Hey, bro. We realized that in order for Metallica to be challenging, reinvigorating, we needed to shake up everything that we knew about, all the processes, and just reinvent it. Producer Bob Rock filled in on bass for the recording, but Metallica was still searching for something missing, their fourth member. We didn't jump right in. We worked on ourselves. So when someone else steps in, it's clean. We have to respect this person. Ozzy Osbourne would unknowingly provide that missing part. Bassist Robert Trujillo. One minute I'm at home just kicking it, and all of a sudden it's like, can you get up here? Can you come up to SF and uh, meet with us? They sat down, and they said, we want you to be the next bass player for Metallica. And I was like, Whoa. It felt great to have Rob in the band, and it felt good to just be all together, just kind of celebrating the fact that we were back. We need to root for Metallica. I cannot wait to see Metallica live. I'm going to be right there cheering them on. The fact that we are still here, the fact that we have a record that I know is going to blow people's heads off. The fact that we have a new member of Metallica 22 years later, that's awesome. <laughs> There's more fire under our ass than ever before. We can't wait to get out and, and play this stuff live. We are on fire. Ladies and gentlemen, Sean Penn. It was uh, about 1985, and I was uh, working in some city and staying in some hotel along with a band called Metallica. And they had their, uh, their, their tour bus outside, and when I pointed at that tour van and I said, Metallica is just too on the nose a name, they'll never make it. So what I knew was and they're this year's icon, and that's because they are the Ladies and gentlemen, Metallica.